All right, guys, today we're going to keep working on clip flow. We're going to update the styling of the modals so that we can have dark mode as well. So currently we have this screen here and we have the modal that shows like this. We're going to add dark mode styling. We're also going to use or set up form field components so that we can style the form once or the field once. And then it just, we, as we update styles, we can just get that going across all of them. And yeah, that's it. So let's jump in and see how we do it. All right, so jumping in. We currently have this over here. When we toggle to dark mode, this guy's not changing. So you can see the button's changing, but let's get the rest of the stuff going. So inside the views, that's inside of our screen. It is our new idea. So that's in here. It's gonna close this. So it's a sidebar modal component. That's the, the guy that we wanna look at. So we're gonna jump in here. All right, so let's see, what do we have? So we don't have any class on it. We've got the backdrop here, and then we've got the section. And then where this is the actual modal here, BG white, right? So what we want to do here is we want to match the, what we have in our layer, I believe. So in the side of the main content, are we doing it here? Or it might even be on the application layout. So let's just check that out. Uh, here we go, BG background. So we can actually just remove this now. We don't need a special so that still works so now what we want to do is we want to set our modal to background right now that should work um let's just see bg background just refresh there we go that's better well, not quite better, but so it might not even be the background, but it might actually be better to use. You can see here, I mean, yeah, it depends here if whether we want this drawer to match this kind of, this color and which it might be better to do actually. So we might change that out to match this nav, nav bar. Let's have a look what that color is. All right, so let's go and find, so inside, find that nav bar. So that lives in views, shared navigation here. So we currently have a background of this 1A, 1A, 1A. So what I want to do here is I want to create a new variable inside of Tailwind. So we're going to go color, and then I'm going to call this color modal. So basically anything that's um, a modal or a sidebar, we can, I mean, unless we go background dark, maybe let's do that. Right, we'll go background dark, and that's just going to be white. Uh, background modal. Yeah, I think mo let's go background modal. All right. Yeah, that'll be anything that's a modal or nav, anything like this. So this in light mode is just white. So that's just the same here. So we're going to grab that and chuck it in here. Now we need to find what this is. So 1A, 1A, 1A. So it's going to be hex. Hex to RGB, uh, or I think RGB to hex, we can get the Google one. There we go. So we chuck that in. So we're talking 26, 26, 26, all right? So just change that to 26. Now what we have to do, remembering we have to go to Tailwind Config and add a new one here. So that's gonna be background modal. Add that in there. And now this is background modal here, okay? So we've done those two, close them out. Now what we can do here is we can say this is now just going to be not dark here. It's going to be background modal. Okay. Let's just see that that all still works. Not yet. We might have to just do a restart on the old server. So it reads that again. No. Let's have a look. BG background modal. Tailwind config background modal. That's color background modal. Why are you not working for us, friend? That's why I've made a mistake. That's why. All right. There we go. All right. That's just me making mistakes. Cool. All right. Excellent. So now let's go here. So that works. Sick. So we can now go here and swap this out to BG background modal. Now when we hit this, it's white and dark. Excellent, and it's got a little shadow there. I reckon what we should do as well is chuck 
a line on the side there. So if we look at our um, nav and we just grab this border. So this should just be now, let's see the border color. I think it's just called border. Border, yeah. So we can now change this to border, border, my favorite. Border, border, love that. And then on the modal component, we are gonna have the same concept. Let's just try and tidy this up a bit. So we're gonna go BG background modal and then we're gonna have a border. And then we're gonna have, so it's border I. We don't need dark, we just always want border, border. Yep, that looks right. And then we're just gonna copy this, but we're gonna have border left. All right, let's see. So we've got the little line there. And then if we flick it, we've got the line there. All right, that just creates a little bit more of a distinction. Um, the shadow, let's see what these look like. Small, maybe large. Let's see that. Oh, let's, yeah. Something about that just seems too strong for me. Um, that's the 2XL. Let's see what we have here. So we've got shadow, and that is just a shadow. So it's drop shadow, not drop shadow, box shadow. Yeah, box shadow, inner, outer. Let's try 2XL. I'm just trying to see if it makes it softer. The opacity is just too strong for my liking. Right now, it just seems like it's just jumping too hard. Um, let's see if we can do it in shadow. It doesn't look like we can control the opacity right now, so that's okay. So we'll just leave that as that, flick it, that works, all right? So now what we need to do here is we need to fix this. So let's go into this, we close nav, let's go into the modal. Now, where is the title? Here's the title. So what we can do here is we can actually render out now our component that we made earlier, which is the um, heading component dot new size. Let's go H2 and that we need to have title or text is new idea. Let's just see if that works. Uh, we have to render, I believe. I oh, know that should be fine. Let's just see. Um, ideas index heading component new size h1 text. Yeah, that's so it's render. We've got to call the render method. That's what I'm doing wrong. Render that. And that. There we go. And now with this one, that does work when we have dark mode toggled. All right. Sweet. So that's cool because we're using the component and it does listen to our modes. So we can get rid of this guy now. I actually like that size better. It does look better. So let's get rid of this. We can render the title in here as the modal title. Chuck that away. All right. That. So maybe what we can do here is if we just go to ideas new for now. Let's see. Does this actually update for us? No. Let's see. Yep. That's probably better just to. So it always just pops the modal out while we're developing this. All right, so what we want to do, okay, why is that? That's interesting that that's not, it doesn't work in this view, but it does in that. So it might be not be wrapped in the same class or something, but that's fine. We can keep moving. It's not a big deal. Um, so now we want to look at this form because this form, this form field's interesting for me and this button here as well. I wonder why that button's been rendered with a background, which is interesting. Um, stroke current color. Button BG white, okay. So button BG, we're gonna go background modal. There we go, that looks better. Okay, awesome. Um, and then we probably wanna make the text here, not gray 400, but the text should be, uh, let's go primary, I believe it's primary, let's just double check. It's text, 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 that, that old guy. Let's have a look. Yep, so the button now, is white, which is easier to see there, okay? So that's all good. The next things we wanna work on is this title and this description, like so these form fields are basically, so we could create com components for those and that might be easier. 
So if we have a look at that's living now inside of this ideas form. All right. So we are hard. All of this is hard coded here. So what we could do, I'm just trying to think what we could do here. All right. Before we begin on setting up the fields, what I want to do is define the colors, I think. So what we'll have is we'll create a, like a, a label color, a form label color, and we'll create a form field or background field background. So it'll be background BG background field or something like that. Let's just go and see what we can do here. So in the, so we're doing the dark mode first. So we're going to go, we're going to go color form label. All right. So we're going to do something there that we're going to have form label. Then we're going to have, we're going to have, I guess we're going to have color field border and then we're going to have color field background, right? That's what I think we'll, we'll run with to begin. So now if we jump into this form, we can see the color. So the color is currently text gray 700, right? So we need to go to tailwind and go to colors. I guess we could actually grab that from here. So if we grab this, inspect it. So it's this 55, 60, 55, 65, 81. So that's field label. That's that. And then here we got background gray 50. Ah, oh, damn, that's gonna change. BG gray 50. Yeah, 249, 250, 251. So that's the background. And then we got a border. So let's just go this one because it's not selected. It's got a border of gray. So it's this one. And the opacity is always one. Okay. So that's the border. All right. So let's, that's for white. I'm going to move that there. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and change this. So. We also, sorry, before we do that, we need to go in here and add this to Tailwind config again, right? So I'm going to grab this, right? And then I'm just going to grab these guys. So we've got form label here. We've got field border, and then we've got field background, right? And that's our form setup. I'm just going to restart the server right now. If we jump into here, so we're going to say text is form label background on this, so this is going to be field background and the border is field border and the focus is border gray 500 and the focus is BG white. Yeah, we'll have to look at that for now. Let's just make sure this still works. All right. Okay. Wondering why that, uh, well, we haven't set the dark mode version. So let's go. I think for fields, we probably want to be closer to a white here. So maybe we'll use the primary color here for now. The border, let's do it, the normal border color. And then the background, let's go with the background of the normal page. All right, let's see what that looks like. So that's what it'll look like. Okay, so that's a primary color. So that's not, that's not right. It needs to be the text color, possibly the text secondary. Let's use the text secondary. Refresh that. There we go. So we don't want it to light up white when we click on it. I wonder what we can do there. Possibly make it slightly brighter. Um, field active. Let's go field background active. And let's just make it slightly lighter. So that's going to go heading towards that. So we'll do that here too. Okay, so we got that now. And then we're going to say here when it is active, where are you? Focus, focus BG field background active. All right, let's have a look. The text we need to update. So the text should go, I think the text should be here. Text gray, this should be text text. Prob yeah, text text, we'll go white. Change that to dark, there we go. That's probably quite clear, it might be too strong. We could even go to the secondary on that. We just wanna make sure, doesn't look funny. That might be too dark. So let's run with that. 
All right, so that's our class. That's going to be our base class for our fields. We can fiddle around with this. And the reason why I think it's a good idea probably to make a component here, it's just so that we don't have to worry about, you know, if we want to change one thing and we want to change this field, we don't have to go and update it a hundred times. We can just do it once. So let's see how we can do that with the form text field method. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new component. So we're going to go into here. We're going to jump in here and we're going to go look for... Um, rails g component and now what we're going to do is we're going to say form field okay so we're going to generate a new component for the form field all right so now once that's generated we're going to go into components there's a form field component there it is all right so what do we need in here so we are going to need so the form object right so the first thing is if we find that in here the form field component we need this initializer so we'll grab that, chuck that in here. Uh, let's go with form. I'm just going to set that to nil. All right. And then we're going to just leave that like that. And then we're going to say form field component. Now let's take this one, for example. So we're going to run, what is this piece going to do? So because the form field, what we could do is encapsulate all of this, which is probably not a bad idea. So let's run with that px3 i actually think we can get rid of this if we run this in a without in a flex we can actually use gap here so we probably don't need that so if we drop that in here all right so we're going to have this piece now we're going to say this is now an object like this we need to say label so we're going to need the label and that's a string so i'm just going to do label as a default and drop that in all right so we can now say label and now we're going to say instead of this we're now going to render out the label the class is like this so that that works margin bottom two so we'll leave all of this stuff for d as default right so we won't tr we'll try not to play with that if we don't have to then what we need to do now is go with the text so we need to say what type of field this is right so I believe what we can do is if we go, if we say send, let's, let's do this for, first. let's test our component. I've just, I, I have an idea of how we can actually do this. We're getting a little bit more dynamic. I'm just going to close this off and then we're going to jump in here. And then above this one, we're just going to render from here. We're going to render, right? And we're going to say form field component dot new. And we're going to say, form is equal to form and then this is going to be label is equal to title all right let's see what that does for us so there we go we got two now so it seems to be working right so we got that happening that's all good now inside of here let's see if we can do this we're going to go form dot send text field title class and then i'm just going to close this off here I want to see if this still works. Yep. So now that means that we can now send this in dynamically, right? So we can say now field type. And let's just see if we go Rails form helper, we should be able to see what they're calling it. So if we go for uh, input, uh, sorry, text field, they have a whole list of things in here. Form element, is that what is, what are they calling it? What are the options? Um, text area, yeah. Other helpers worth mentioning, other form control. Yeah, I, I reckon just go field type. That seems to me much simpler. We're gonna just say text field is the default, right? So that's the field type. If we now say, let's just add this in here, field type. And we're just gonna send this in here. Let's see. All right, so we've got a title there, right? So this is still working, so that's good. But now what we can say here is if we wanted to change this out, we could say field type is a text area. All right, and now if we refresh, that's a text area. Okay, cool. So we're now sending this in dynamically. Okay, so it's giving us more flexibility. So that's all good. So if we now clear this guy out and remove this because we don't need the field type, it's just going to default for us. So now we can render fields like this. Um, we will also need eventually the value. So where the, val the value is coming from. No, actually we don't because it's the type. No, we do need this. 
we need this key here. So that's called the property key or the, let's just see how they define it here. I just like to try and try if we can. A label form with, so it's the generate control attribute name. I guess we could call it the attribute name. So here we're gonna, I'm gonna just type, drop this in here so we can get some more space. And this is a tribute key. Let's call it a tribute key. And this will just be nil for now. All right, so we're gonna duplicate this, chuck that in there, attribute key. And now we're gonna pass that in here, attribute key. Okay, sweet. Now we can do this. So now we can pass in here is title. All right, now let's see if that still works. Nope, I've done some, oh, yep. that'll be just me doing a trailing comma. Okay, and I wonder if these can be sorted in any way. Let's see. E something weird goes on there. It's lost its padding. Form nil. Okay. I'm just wondering where have I lost? I wonder if I've lost uh, it's the, the, this padding. Sorry, we do need that. That's the internal padding. Okay, so we do need padding PX3. That's the padding in this way here. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, broke it, but fixed it. Now what we can do, so you can just see like, this is reducing a little bit of complexity here for us when we're rendering these forms out, right? So now we can say description, this is a text area. So this is the field type text area and the label is description. No, it's actually not. The label is actually going to be description, not model, because that's from a different project. I get rid of that. So we're cleaning up, cleaning this up, right? So we do these, define these components once, then we can control the style once. We don't have to keep doing it every time. And now there we go, right? Don't know why this doesn't listen when we're in the screen. Super weird. Let's just go back to this. And then that does work. All right, so now we're busy. We're on our way. We're almost styled the form. And we only have to do this once. Once we've done this, we are good to go. I like to have the modal button down here, I think. So we might create like a little section down here that's pinned to the bottom of this modal so that we can always have it down the bottom. We can do that later. We're gonna do this for now. We're just gonna create style this button up. So it's this guy here. So now this will be a button, right? So we've got a button component, the old mate over here. And then we just have to see what, so let's render that guy. Let's render this. I wonder if this will work because it's rendering. I mean, that's an action type. So maybe we can say button component dot new. And what do we want? We want text. We want variant to be primary. I think that's default though. That is default and size is large. It's just the text that we need to define. Great idea. I need to render it out properly like that. There we go. But now we do need to say that this button component, we need to actually, let's go, where are you? Button component in here. Um, so it's not an href, it's a button, but we need to have the type because when this gets rendered, we need to do the submit stuff. So if we have a look at this button here, it's the input type submit. So it's just the type and the name. So the name's called commit. So we can add in here, we can go name. And for now, I think most of our buttons are actually going to be submit buttons, commit. So we're going to give that name here. And then we're also going to have type, type. And I think type button is the default. All right, so now let's see if we go into here. So where are we using this again? The button, yeah, the new idea. That's doing that one. So I think what we can do is let's remove name, just set it to nil for now, right? Um, Sweet. So we've got name and type. So we have to now send this in here. So we're gonna say name equals name, right? And then type as well. And this really only happens for buttons. When we're, having li when we're rendering them as links, we don't need to do this. So it's name and type. All right, so now what we can say here is we can say name is commit type is submit. Let's see. Now inspect this guy. Button 
name commit type submit type submit name commit value data disable with create idea that's interesting i i guess that's what that's the text i guess that's when it's disabled let's hit create there we go so we've got forbidden attributes so it has actually posted that let's see it did a post so it's done its job but we've got forbidden attributes all right so that in the that's i'll save that one what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to get rid of this now we got here and if we toggle there we go so we've got our toggling modal there we've styled it all up it all matches the rest of the theme the dark mode's the guy i actually want to change my default to dark mode now because i don't want it to be light mode there we go awesome there we go so we have a modal that is now styled with dark mode we've got a little hot key there to toggle it and test it out and triggered we've built some of input and form field components here we're using our button component with a little modification there so now that we can use that for submitting as well and that's that so next time we will jump in and wire this up so that once we create it chucks it into straight into here and away we go thanks for watching guys catch you on the next